Hey guys, so today I wanted to make a video to show you a speed test result between the Verizon side of Straight Talk and the AT&T side of Straight Talk. This is an iPhone 6 Plus over here, and this is an LG G3 over here. This has the AT&T SIM card from Straight Talk. This has the Verizon SIM card from Straight Talk. And so I want to do a side-by-side -side comparison here. I pretty much have the same signal strength, three bars on each one, usually. And so I want to go ahead and do a side-by-side -side comparison with the tests. And I'm just going to go ahead and cover this up so I don't give away my location. And we'll go ahead and start the test. So just for privacy reasons, I don't want to share my location. But if you guys in the comments, if you want to let me know what your speed test is, that'd be interesting to know. You don't have to give your location if you don't want, but I just wanted to show you. So as you can see, the AT&T one has right around, it fluctuates. Before when I checked it, it was almost 16 of download. I know that the Verizon one has almost five. That's pretty much, it's right around always at five they cap it at. And so you can see that the Verizon one is almost two of upload, almost five download. The AT&T one is almost 14 download and almost five upload. So it's quite a bit of difference. I was kind of surprised how much difference it is. I didn't want to see side by side. I wanted to see kind of what it was. And so let's just go ahead and restart the test real quick here and just see what it says. We'll just give it another fair shot. Now as you can see they're both LTE, both three bars of LTE like I was saying. So go ahead and see. Because it kind of fluctuates a little, depends where they host it at and stuff as far as the, the, the exact speed. But so there we're almost at 13 again on the AT&T. We're just under, a little under five on the Verizon one for download. And yeah, upload is pretty much, usually it's right around two, right at two or just under. And this one, I hate these annoying ads, but I'm too cheap to pay for the app. So there you go. So yeah, the AT&T one definitely beats it about three times faster on upload and, or download. And it's pretty close to three times faster on the upload, at least twice as fast. So, all right. Well, hope you enjoyed this little test and thanks for watching.